Let's make uh, a line art. First we uh, do a search for Marilyn. Go to marilynmonroe.com and here is the picture. So you right click on the picture you selected and say copy. Then you open Photoshop, go to Feel, New, and it will see what you have on a clipboard and make a uh, width and height, height correspond to that. And then you say OK, and then you say Control V to paste. Here is the picture. And we have to make it a little, lo little bit larger. So we go to Image, Image Size, and we take the height in pixel to 555 or as big as you need it and want it and so on and so forth and say ok and uh, we have to g get the padlock away from the background so to do this you just double click the layer and just uh, hit ok the padlock is gone and it's now just a layer. You take the Marilyn Monroe layer and drag it down to new layer and then you make a copy of it. And then you drag it under the white layer. And then you hit uh, select the top layer and hit a new layer. Then you have an empty layer. And on this layer we will put the line out. Now let's make the copy uh, brighter and more yeah, let image, adjustments, brightness, contrast. Here you put up the brightness and the contrast so the few features of a face stand out. The jawline, the nose, the lips, the eyes, the eyebrows and the contour, contour of it, her uh, person. And uh, now you can begin the line art. But before that, uh, you select the line line art and you see the selection above and then you click and drag uh, not drag but you make another click and then you drag you hold down the left uh, mouse button and drag this is how you make the, the line curve and then you drop the button make a new selection and drag make a new selection and drag and then I right click stroke path simulate pressure do not touch that tool the brush and OK and here you can and then we go to uh, right click and delete path and here you can see how the line uh, uh, is drawn when the dynamics is on this can ruin a, if you make a continuous path and then you take make uh, draw set path and I'll have set stroke and delete the path and then you uh, you ruin it so you go to history and you can go backwards through, through your options what you have done and uh, begin again now I will show you how it, it becomes when you uh, uh, s take the dynamics off. First I go to brushes. I have to select the brush and then go to brushes. And you can see the dynamics is uh, on. So if I set it to off and then uh, select uh, the pen tool uh, the path tool and then go to stroke path ok you see I have a continuous line and then I go to delete path and I have a continuous line this is this is how you you, you can do when you train yourself up to to uh, get the curvature right and here make uh, here you can t to follow that uh, half circle you can of course click around but then you won't get the curvature you get straight chunky lines so you click if you click on the beginning and the end 
of the the half circle and drag it n it's nearly there but you can see it it doesn't uh, it's not perfect so what uh, you do you click control uh, Z to remove and then you click on the middle of the curve and then you drag and then you can get it exactly to fit and drop and make a new uh, click and another click and then you right click and say stroke path and OK and then delete path now you have a perfect curvature this is the way you do line out Here I've done the line art on Marilyn. I have not used any dynamics to get a solid uh, line and so on, but you get the best result if you take use the dynamics, but then you have to plan where th the whole process. You can't just sit down and, uh, and do it because then uh, the thickness of the line, if, if, if it's not the system in it, 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 it becomes terrible to, to look at but uh, this is how it ended up to not bad but you bet you can do it uh, better just use your time use the time and uh, it will be good